Hey everyone, this is Rashmi and today I am going to discuss about the next part of the question. BBA and term for semester. Uh, write any two properties of determinants. So let us discuss about some properties. So these are the properties. If any two row and column of a determinant are identical then value of the determinant is zero. If any two elements of any two row and column of a determinant are zeros, then value of the determinant is zero. If we exchange two row and columns of a determinant, then value of the new determinant is minus one times of the original determinant. Then if we exchange any two row and columns of a determinant, then value of the new determinant remains unchanged. So these are the properties you can easily remember so you can write down any two properties from these properties there are some also other properties if you want you can also go for that properties now move on to the next question the next question is that define odd function and even function So let us discuss about the odd function and even function. A function is said to be odd function if f minus x equal to minus fx that means if a function satisfies this condition then it is called odd function for example suppose fx equal to 3x cube plus 7x okay now let us replace the values by minus x then 3 minus x whole cube plus 7 into minus x that means minus 3x cube minus 7x or you can write down minus common 3x cube plus 7x or minus fx. So you can see that for this function 3x cube plus 7x it satisfies the condition f minus x equal to minus fx. That's why it is an example of odd function. Now, even function, a function is said to be even function if f minus x equal to fx. In case of odd function, the given condition is that f minus x equal to minus fx in case of even function the given condition is that f minus x equal to fx now let us take some example suppose fx equal to 4 x to the power 4 plus 3 x square plus 2 now let us take f minus x f minus x the values will be 4 into minus x to the power 4 3 into minus x whole square plus 2 minus x to the power 4 the value will be x to the power 4 then minus x square the value will be x square so we can write down 4 x to the power 4 plus 3 x square plus 2 plus 2 now you can easily see that the value is equal to fx that means here the condition is satisfied f minus x equal to fx so you have to remember these two condition f minus x fx and here f minus x equal to minus fx now let us discuss the next question the next question is given that the third and sixth terms of a series in zp are 3 and 81 respectively find out the first term and common ratio 
so now let us discuss that question here it is given that third term so third term is denoted by t3 it is written down uh, the value is equal to 3 then it is said that six term that means t6 is equal to 81 now uh, in case of GP series, the nth term is a r to the power n minus 1. We have to find out first term and the common ratio. So, t3 we can write down a r to the power n value is equal to 3. So, 3 minus 1 equal to 3 or a r square equal to 3. 3 minus 1 equal to 2. Now, t6 a r to the power 6 minus 1 is equal to 81 or a r to the power 5 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 the value is equal to 81 now let us give this equation number 1 and this equation number 2 now in the next step let us divide equation 2 by equation 1 so in the left hand side the value is a r to the power 5 divided by a r square then 81 divided by 3. Now in the left hand side a value is cancel out and this is r to the power 5 divided by r square that means r to the power 5 minus 2 and 81 divided by 3 the value is equal to 27. Now 5 minus 2 the value is equal to 3 now 27 is also equal to 3 cube now by the formula we can see that here the power is equal to same that's why we can write down r value is equal to 3 that's why we got that r is denoted common ratio so common ratio value is equal to 3 now we can substitute the value of r in any one of these two equation 1 or 2 then we will get the value of a now let us substitute the value of r to the equation number 1 so a into r value is 3 r is square equal to 3 now we can write down a is equal to 3 divided by 3 square or 1 divided by 3 divided by 9 or 1 by 3 so we have got that first term a is equal to 1 by 3 then we need to find out common ratio common ratio is denoted by r r value we have got equal to 3 so this is the solution now let us discuss the next question what is the logarithm value of 125 to the base 5 root 5 we have to find out log 125 to the base 5 root 5 now we have to express uh, 5 125 as a power of 5 root 5 now 125 the value is equal to 5 cube or we can write down 555 five, five. now out of this 3 5 we will keep these two 5 as a 5 and this 5 can be written down root 5 into root 5 because after simplification or you can say that after multiplication of root 5 into root 5 we will got the value 5 and this is 5 into 5 or you can see that this is root 5 whole square this is 5 square or we can combine the values 5 root 5 whole square now we can substitute the value here this is log 5 root 5 125 can be written down as a 5 root 5 whole square we know the formula log a b to the power n 
which is equal to m log a b now you will apply the formula here the power is equal to 2 so we can write down 2 into log 5 root 5 then 5 root 5 now we know another formula log a a the value is equal to 1 that means if the value of log is same equal to the base value then the value is equal to 1 so 2 into 1 is equal to 2 so we got the answer the logarithm value of 125 to the base 5 root 5 is equal to 2 now let us discuss the next question the first term of an AP is 6 and the common ratio is 2 find the 15th term so in case of AP first term we can denote by A A is given as 6 common ratio is denoted by D common ratio a common difference is denoted by D and the common difference is equal to 2. We have to find out 15th term that means T15. Now in case of AP the nth term the value is A plus n minus 1 into D. You have to remember this formula in case of arithmetic progression or in case of AP the nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, the t15 value will be a plus 15 minus 1 into d. Here, n equal to 15. Now, a value is equal to 6. 15 minus 1 value is equal to 14. d value is equal to 2. So, 6 plus uh, 28 then equal to 34 so the 15 term of the ap series is 34 now let us discuss the next next question the total cost cx of a farm is cx given this value where x is the output determine the average cost and the marginal cost so we have to find out the average cost and the marginal cost Here the total cost denoted by Cx it is given as 0 0.0005 x cube minus 0.7 x square minus 30x plus 3000. So this is the total cost which is given. Then we have to find out the average cost. So, in case of average cost, the formula is total cost divided by x. Here, total cost is denoted by Cx. So, we can write down Cx divided by x. Now, substitute the value of Cx 0.005 x cube minus 0.7 x square minus 30x plus 3000 divided by x. So, we can separately write down 0.005 x cube divided by x then minus 0.7 x square by x minus 30 x by x plus 3000 divided by x. So, it value becomes 0.005 x square minus 0.7x minus 30 plus 3000 by x. This is average cost. Now we have to find out marginal cost. Now marginal cost, the formula is differentiation of total cost. So here differentiation of total cost, the value is given 0. 0.0005x cube minus 0.7x square minus 30x plus 3000. 
so now we can separately differentiate the values 0.005 x cube minus d dx of 0.7 x square minus d dx of 30 x then d dx of 3000 now this is a constant value so 0.005 now d dx of x cube the value is 3 x square now d dx here 0 0.7 into 2 x then minus 30 and this value is equal to 0 differentiate of any constant value is equal to 0 now it becomes 0 0.0015 x square minus 1.4 x minus 30 so this is the value of marginal cost.